Hello, I am Martin from Norway and I'm a new EMF missionary here in Norway. So uh, I will now introduce myself. I will tell you a little bit about the country and uh, also about our small church. So first about myself, I am a pastor in a small church here in the west coast of Norway. And uh, <clears throat> I was saved uh, maybe 13 years ago, around that time, when I was 20, 21. And I grew up in a Christian home, but I don't think I was truly saved before around that age I, I mentioned. So it was more like a dead faith, but I had uh, a conviction and I had a belief that the Bible was the word of God and uh, that the gospel was true, but it didn't really affect my life it was like it was outside of me it wasn't inside of me but when i was around 20 21 i heard a sermon on youtube and um, there was a missionary there speaking about jesus being lord and savior and he used the text from matthew 7 about those who called jesus lord lord but didn't actually know him so uh, that was life-changing to me god by his grace made a change in me when I heard that sermon and uh, I started to look at the Christian life differently and I, I realized that Jesus is not just Savior, he is also Lord and that changes everything. And uh, after that there's been a new direction on my life and um, it's been a good journey. It's been a slow journey but a good journey and, uh, and it's now been around 13 or 14 years since that happened so uh, I love Jesus and what he has done and uh, I love him and I want to follow him so that's uh, my point of view now and uh, let me tell you a bit about Norway as well Norway used to be a Christian country if we think of uh, the laws we had and, and stuff like that our flag as you can see in the background there has a cross in the middle of it but uh, Norway has become more and more secular now, the last 20 years especially, but uh, maybe yeah, it's impossible to say when it started, but the sexual revolution in the 1970s and, and on, I think also was a big turning point. Uh, so Norway's secular and it's aggressively secular. So now just a day or two ago, uh, the Norwegian government proposed a new law that will say that if I counsel someone who comes to me by their own desire and they say that they want to, um, they want me to help them with their same-sex attraction, how can they live biblically when they have that um, same-sex attraction? If I do counsel them, then I will become a criminal. That's the new law proposal here in Norway, similar like it is in Canada, if you have heard about that. But that's um, very interesting and it shows the aggressiveness of our secularism here in Norway. So uh, Norway is a secular country, it's a post-Christian country, even though we had Christianity here for a thousand years. Uh, so in the middle of this we have the, our small church here on, in the Bible Belt uh, on the west coast of Norway. We are about 10 people and... Um, 10 good people and God doesn't need many people to do great things so we decided to proclaim the word to get the word out and to be faithful to God and, and the gospel so so we're doing gospel work here in Norway on the west coast a few prayer requests um, I would like to add and um, the first one is numerical growth we are just a few people now and we would love to see God changing people's hearts and so that they would come uh, to church and so that they would praise God instead of cursing God and that they would have new lives and, uh, and forgiveness and uh, eternal life in Christ. So numerical growth would be a great encouragement to us that the empty seats will be filled up uh, and we need God for that. We need his intervention and uh, there's nothing we can do and we don't trust the arm of the flesh. We can't, yeah, do it on our own. So we need God to intervene. So we, we're praying about that and, and praying for open doors and uh, 
so that people will be saved. That's a great desire we have. And uh, also pray for our holiness, because if we do not have a personal holiness and a love for God, then there's no point in what we're doing. So pray that we will be holy as he is holy and that we will be kept clean and pure, not defiled by this culture and this secularism, but that we will be faithful to him, that we will be devoted to Christ, that we will rejoice in the gospel, the wonderful news, the greatest treasure there is. We have got this and, and that we will truly value it. So please pray for our holiness and um, uh, as well as our growth. So those would be two prayer requests from us here in Norway. Delighted to be with EMF, delighted to be able to share about uh, me, my church, and, and Norway. And uh, I thank you for your support.